Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 22 of Haven Cave Blog. Today, well, we, we get into making the biggest fission reactor I, I feel you'll ever need. So let's get into this episode and see how it's done. All right, guys, let's get into this episode. First thing I would like to do is uh, make a destruction gadget. Um. I I want to come down here and destroy the these blocks here. Okay, so I'm going to set up a couple of stone blocks here just just so I can show this to you. Um what this does. Let's see here. Let's see, one, two, uh, 16 by 16 by 16. Okay, so we'll say up by 16. Uh, left, oh, left and right, I want eights. And depth. I want that to be 16. Confirm. All right, you see that right there? That is where we want it to be at. And when we do this, and it will clear out any block that is red. So we get this nice and cleaned out. Nice 16 by 16 area here. And this is this is going to make uh, our our life so much easier. This destruction gadget. So now that we have that, uh, a one here. I want to put these back up real quick, like so. I don't know if you guys can see that too well. Let me get a let me get some torches and we'll light this place up. Okay. Okay, so we'll just we'll just place some torches on the ground. Definitely I should have made the deconstruction gadget so much sooner to to this series. Uh, I mean, with how cheap it is, it's just a couple of interpearls, a couple of redstones for iron and a lapis lazuli. Definitely uh, something, if you're playing cave block, really great for mining out uh, large areas like we're going to need here. Okay, so. Um, Today, we're going to get into making nuclear waste, okay? So we have like 8 million fissile fuel with our setup, and literally it just, it's backing all the way up, okay? So like this is backing up, this is completely full, so uh, the uranium oxide, which is getting made here, will soon start backing up. These all are at full upgrades. So, yeah, that, that's soon going to be done. But before we do that, we'll come back in here. Uh, I need some HDPE pellets here, okay? To get HDPE pellets, we need a pressurized reaction chamber to do substrate, oxygen, and liquid ethylene. To get le liquid ethylene, we need a, condon a rotary condensator to turn ethylene gas into liquid ethylene. To get uh, li uh, ethylene, okay, 
to get ethylene, we go through a pressurized reaction chamber with water of some sort and hydrogen. And we get the substrate and ethylene. Okay, so we need two pressurized reaction chambers. Make sure that this is right. Two pressurized reaction chambers. Okay, one at the end here, one early on. Um, with this, we can take uh, in a rotary condensator. A uh, rotary condensator. Okay, so here we go. We need uh, a fluid. Uh, not fluid. Um, gas. Uh, what is it? Universal. Okay, that 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 will get us to it. No, no, no. Uh, ultimate. That's it. Uh, we'll need some pressurized tubes and mechanical pipes. Okay, so pressurized tubes and mechanical pipes. What we'll do with this is we will have uh, the gases go out to the right here that, that it makes here in this thing. And we'll have this configured so that uh, gases will come in from the right and well, we don't need to set it for an output, we'll, but we'll set the blue fluid output on the right for this. Okay, so, and we also want to toggle this so it changes gas into liquid. Okay. On the pressurized reaction chamber here, uh, we don't need to do anything with the gases. We just need to make sure that fluids come in from the right. Now, HDPE pellets. Why did I not save that? They have an EMC, so we only need to make it one time. Okay, so we only need this one time. Uh, but this requires liquid ethylene and oxygen. So we can get two... What are these called again? Quantum... Entanglopers. We're going to get like a few of these. Okay, we'll set this one up here. Uh, we're going to set the gases. We'll want to make sure that it's only gases. Like everything else can be off on this. Okay, the gases will be output on the bottom, auto eject. We want to make sure that this can take gases from the top. Okay, so we can, so it can. And next we will change this so that it is the oxygen one. So see, we've got oxygen in here. And on this one, we will put, again, no side configs except this one. We want gases to go down, okay? Auto eject on for that. Clear out all of the rest of these. And we want hydrogen set for this one. Okay, so we have hydrogen in here. And we just need one bucket of water for this. All right, so, and we need some biofuel, which we made 
can't remember when we made that biofuel, but I found it in the storage. So, ah, um, Okay, so we have to put it in through, say, a sink. Get a sink here. And we do already have the one thing, so we can set the sink there, the uh, mechanical pipe there. And we can say on the site config for fluids, you can accept on that site. So. Also, we need to configure it. Okay, this will do this, this, oh shoot. Uh, Okay, I was like, um, okay, so now we have water and hydrogen in here. We just set the biofuel in here. We're going to need power, so let's uh, attach power to all three of these. We'll say the Malcor network. All right. That is done. We have the substrate. This is empty here. So this has already turned this into liquid ethylene in here. So we should have liquid ethylene. Unless. Uh, the ethylene gas is in here still, so. Oh, okay, so we have to have it in this form. All right, so this has 100 liquid ethylene in it, which we only need 50 of it to turn substrate into the HDPE pellet that we need. So once we get this one HDPE pellet, we can put it in here. We can tell it to make a sheet like so. We can teach it the sheets. And now we can request the solar neutron activator. Uh, I think we, we're going to have this in our inventory and this in our inventory. And that gives us those mechanism quests done. Uh, the mechanism in this pack, the solar panels are sort of uh, derped. I don't know why they're there. So there's supposed to be more quests for it. But that's another one of these ones done. So let me clean this up. And we'll get to why you're actually here. Because I'm pretty sure my opening scene will show me standing in front of something. Well, I mean, you've already seen it. So. You, you tell me if I'm wrong down in the comments below that I'm standing in front of a reactor. So. If I'm correct, tell me you're correct in the comments down below. Again, showing off the reactor. I will be right back after I get all of the stuff I need for it. Okay, guys. Uh. I was looking at this and I just realized we have the mechanism reactor stuff here. So let's let's uh, start going through this stuff. Uh, I already made all of this stuff so I can pretty much uh, go in here and say hazmat. And 
get all four of them and complete that quest. Go over here, go fission reactor casings and fission reactor glass. So uh fission reactor glass? Wait, did we not do those? No, oh, apparently we did not no we did. We oh it's called reactor glass. There we go. Oh wait, uh that's not the glass. There it is. Um fission reactor ports. Like we can just grab like a stack of this stuff. Control rods and assembly. I'm going to need a good bit of these for what we want. Um, it says we want a sink, so we'll grab a sink. I'm trying to figure up what the best way of filling this up with water. If you guys know an idea, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. Um... For me, I I have uh, I I haven't checked to see here is the laser I O M S no um. You notice here, the rest of this up to this point is just the stuff we need to make the hydrochloric acid or the, the fissile fuel. So, um, I want to set this back here. I want to go 11 out, so that is 3, 5, 7, 11. Do I want to do one more for this, or... No, I think... I think an 11 by 11 by 15 could be more than enough. So now we want a building gadget. Uh, we will go here to building gadgets. We'll get one of these. Um, yeah, it's on built to me. So one, two, three, four. I should be here. Should be 11, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight. What? Okay, so one, two, many. And I know there's going to be people stating, Malcolm, you could have easily have uh, done the. Hmm. 
make a plateau with this, which yes, would have worked. But, you know, Malcor likes to do stuff his way. And there's, there's another reason here. So we know that this is 16 tall. Uh, when, because of the build gadget. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, uh, uh, we're out of uh, the reactor casing, so. Uh, which is, I figured would happen. All right, and just place one there. We'll fly up from this corner. Right. Fly up from this corner. Oops. Um, and now you can press U to undo it. That's what I wanted to show you guys. And now we should have the basic reactor casing done that we want for this. All right, so uh, one of the things I want to do is get a, this, this is going to be a very expensive uh, build uh, if you do this in, uh, without EMC related packs. So that does not have EMC on all of these things. You want to do this in a hex grid or, or, or a grid like this. Um, giving space to every corner. So we want this like so. Let's see here. Uh, I want to look at something quick. Let's see here. Yeah, OK. I should have already made these. Oh, OK. We have to, we have to get the, the mimic to make those. Um, hold on. I just noticed something. Yes, I'm, I just loaded up this world to start recording, guys, so. Options. Key controller. Uh, key controller. Key binds. And we'll say category. Say project E. Uh, helmet effects, not bound. Uh, let's see here. Can we put it to, okay, keep five sets. There we go. There we go. That makes it a little bit easier for you guys to see. Forgot that we had those. Um, let's get some more, uh, fuel rods. I think that's, it's, I don't know how many stacks we're going to need. We've already went through two to get up to here.
We want to go all except for this top row here. Okay, so we're going to have to take this top row down one. So give me a second while I clear that out. Okay, we're back and I'm going to try something here. Okay, if you hold what you want in your offhand, it will automatically place it for you. Okay, so we went through about five stacks of these fission fuel rods, if you guys want to know now the quantity. And 41 of these fuel rod uh, control assemblies for this. And of course, I, I threw my wand back in here. And next, we want to, I'm going to put this in my offhand. And yeah, as you can see here, it goes around, but the issue is now in all of these, it uh, fills up the center slots, which will make it so that this does not get made properly. Okay, so that is right. Okay, so the, the ones that it did not break are back here, so. We wanna first lay down the initial uh, ones of these. Uh, which, yeah, we could easily just messed up again. Um, go with the building one. there like so and now with the building wand go up oh no 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 okay i think that was the only mistake that i made Uh, it looks like we need more of that glass, so I figure we're going to go through a lot of this uh, reactor glass here. Move that, that back end is done. Good. Oh, so close. So close. Okay, so now we just want to do casings on top here. So, and if I'm correct, in assuming that we sort of did everything right, yeah, we did. Uh, we have a fission reactor here. Now, we're going to need some of these ports here. We're going to need one for water, which I figure will come over here. Place the one for water here. Uh, we'll have a waste here. And uh, we don't need the excess steam, so we'll have the steam come out here. So we want the waste on front, the, the reactor or the water on the left, and we're going to need the configurator to configure these. 
So if we shift right click, well, you can see it comes waste output, weight output, coolant, input only. So we want this to be the output waste. We want this to be output coolant. And we want this here to be the input. Uh, we will set down the sink here. And the ultimate, no, where is it? We, do we not have it on us? Uh, the ultimate mechanical pipe is capable of pumping 32 buckets per tick. Okay, so we'll remember that. At pipes, the top tier here is able to pump only 10 buckets of fluid per tick. So, so far, this is faster. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we can't make the infinite pipe upgrade. We don't need the heat pipe for mechanism. So I guess we'll have to do this with configurator like so. We can see that this is slowly filling up this tank at not a fast, uh, fast method. So we're going to have to put in a couple more of these pipes uh, for fluid. So we'll go one, two more on this side. Two on this side, place down this torch again here. Okay, so we'll have that and we'll have uh, multiple sinks. I mean, we can afford it. and multiple mechanical pipes. All right, and we can have this set up so that each of these are pulling from here. So we'll see here that this is filling up at a pretty okay pace here. All right, so we've got that filling up at a pretty okay pace here. Uh, we want a quantum entangleloper on this side here. Okay, we're gonna uh, clear all the configurations from this. Because we, we want to be able to come here and say gases, which, which way is that? We'll, we'll say all, all sides of this, gases will be outputs. It can auto eject. And we want to set this to the fissile fuel. Okay.
Oh. Did we... We, we need an input for Fizz South Hill. I'll set it on this side. Okay, we'll see that this is getting Fizz South Fuel. It can hold three, 3,936 buckets of it. So, All right, so with those in there, we could activate this. We can see that this is making nuclear waste here, which yes, we want it to do. But let's see here, is this keeping up with it? Yes, yes, we can actually keep up with what we currently are using in this at the lowest setting of 0.1 millibuckets per tick. If we go to one here, burn rate one. Okay, so let's look here. It's still keeping up. Uh, the issue is it is making heated coolant here and uh, nuclear waste. So let's scram this for a split second. Um, we do not want to break this open now. But if we get a trash can, I think a fluid one will work. We have this as the coolant, right? Okay, so we can already see that there is no more steam in here. We could take that steam off of here and throw it through a, a reactor or a, uh, what you call it. But now let's look at where we are going with all this. Uh, we're going to be working on making antimatter. Antimatter uh, comes from a S SPS, which we'll make the next uh, episode, uh, with polarium. That comes from the solar neutron activator. Uh, yeah, it comes from a solar neutron activator. So that's why we had to make the solar neutron activator. So let's get one of these. Uh, I want to set it right here. Uh, I want to configure it so that gases are inputted on the left-hand side here. And to the uh, to the front here uh, is an output and um Yeah, and on this, we're going to need a waste barrel. Okay, so uh, we'll use ultimate mechanical pipes. Gases input from the left, right? I'm not sure why this is not connecting to this.
Oh, because I have it. I have a mechanical pipe there. Not the gas one. Okay, that that was my my bad. Okay, so and I'm gonna set this right here for right now. Um We'll move it and everything here in just a bit after probably next episode. Uh, but we want ultimate uh, pressurized tubes. That's it. There we go. We can configure this to pull off of here, it will get the nuclear waste in here. And I was kind of afraid this was going to happen, so... Um, put this building gadget away. Get us up one of these guys, set it up so up is as high as we can get it. Wipe that all the way up. Yeah, it, it should only be... Let's, uh, oh, it, it's being stupid, so we're going to have to do, do it like this, okay? We have to go all the way up. If we're, we're going to see how high up this actually goes because apparently we still need the sun shining on this. So We're going to go up as high as we can, and I'll be right back with that. Okay, guys. Um, I, I've tried everything I could think of to get this to run. And so I was not getting any sunlight. So let I searched sun. In here, and I saw this earlier. It's called the Compact Sun. Okay, so it does require a final star, which requires us to get a dragon's egg. So we're going to have to go fight the. Uh, go fight the dragon. Uh next episode so we can finish that up so today we got this reactor started uh, but next episode we're going to go to the end 
and uh, face the dragon. And get all of the stuff that we need from the end. And I'm not sure what else we're going to do next episode, but let's see. And until then, if you like this episode, hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, go right ahead. Dislike this. Uh, tell me why you disliked it down in the comments. Um, it will help me out greatly. And until next time. Later, Gators.